Right, let's go back to the beginning. 10 minutes, set the timer, we're good to go. We are going to start with a little bit of breathing just to drop ourselves out of the rest of the day and then we're gonna think about what movements we can use through the spine particularly today. What can we introduce into our everyday to ensure that we're feeling as good as possible? So whether you've got five minutes, whether you've got 10 minutes, come and sit with me for a minute and then you can come back and catch up the rest later. Seat yourself wherever you can comfortably, whether that's on a chair, whether that's on the floor, whatever it looks like. I want you to pause, I want you to find a little bit of length through the spine, relax the shoulders, hands resting on the knees or maybe down at your sides, take a nice big deep breath in. And then sigh all the way out. <sighs> Let go of some of the rest of your day. We're gonna do that twice more. You can close the eyes if it feels good, in through the nose. Out through the mouth. I want you to go once more. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. As you breathe in, next thing you take a nice big stretch up with the arms up above the head. Have a little wiggle through the shoulders, shimmy into the sides of the waist, and then exhale. Hands all the way back down. We're going to do that twice more. Inhale, lift. Again, that little shimmy and wiggle, exhale, hands come back down and this time grab a hold of one of your wrists and then just gently lengthen over to the side. If that's really uncomfortable, if it feels like it's too much through the shoulders, you can bring the hands down. I'm trying to find a little bit of length up through the rib cage. Inhale up, swap sides, exhale over to the other side. Inhale, back up, interlace the fingers behind the back, and then think about just rolling the shoulders back, lifting the chest a little again, maybe that little wiggle. Exhale, release. Okay, so it's a couple of minutes done. You could have done that first thing in the morning, you can do it when you're sitting at your desk, maybe when you sit down at the end of the day. Now, imagining, in my head, we're practicing this first thing in the morning. We've just sat up in bed, taking that little wiggle, that little stretch. You're gonna slither down out of bed and then down onto the floor at the side of the bed, basically. And then you could start down in child's pose, have a little wiggle down through the back if you wanted to, or come straight to all fours. And then as you breathe in, let the belly drop, shoulders roll back, gaze comes forward. Exhale, tuck the tailbone around the spine and Keep that going. Inhale, stretch the front of the body. Exhale, round, push into the back of the shoulder blade. So you're gradually increasing the movement with each breath. And stretching, mobilizing the spine. First thing in the morning, this always feels amazing. And you can add in, again, those extra little wiggles. So as you become familiar with the movement, I always like to press and wiggle up underneath my shoulder blades on the exhale. And one more. Okay, back to neutral. So we've worked forwards and backwards, now we're gonna work side to side. So as you breathe out next time, I want you to sweep the gaze round to the side of the body, almost as though you were trying to catch sight of that hip. Inhale back to the center, exhale round to the opposite side. And then again, if I'm working in a constricted amount of time, I'll Say that I'm going to do three or five reps to each side. If I've got a little bit more time, a little bit more freedom, then I'll just keep going for as long as it feels good. There's really no way that you can get this wrong. <laughs> so long as you are stretching, you're moving your body, everything about the movement feels good, it feels beneficial. <clears throat> okay, coming back to neutral. So we're going to add on a little bit of a twist. You can stay where you are. I'm going to turn so you can see what I'm up to. We're gonna take a hand up to the back of the head. Now we're gonna break this movement into two parts so that we're not flinging ourselves into too big of a movement. Elbow out wide. As you breathe in, I want you to think about opening the chest, lifting the elbow up to the ceiling. And then as you exhale, you're gonna come back to that square position here in the center. Inhale, opens up to the side. Exhale, back down, and then one more. And then the second part of this twist Take a nice big deep breath in as you're at the center, and then as you breathe out, you're gonna thread that arm underneath the body. Inhale back. Exhale. Underneath. 
and again for the purposes of speed and remembering what you're doing we're doing three of each that hand comes down we do the same thing on the opposite side so again hand to the back of the head as you inhale open up just as far as is comfortable and you might find it's a little bit less on this side of the body inhale lift exhale down the body is very rarely symmetrical and then nice big deep breath in in the center and then as you exhale thread the arm underneath inhale to the center exhale back to the middle and then one last little stretch out through the hip so you're going to stretch that right leg out behind you tuck the toes press back into the heel so really lengthen all the way down through the back of the leg and just holding it there for two or three breaths and then we're going to slide it so we're not even going to pick it up you're going to slide it round so it's my right leg it's sliding over to the left you can see it's crossed over that supporting leg again same thing kicking back into the heel and then we can slide it all the way down and out to the opposite side so it's coming out the side of the body here stretching through the inside of the thigh the outside of the hip if that feels okay you could add that little rock backwards and forwards if that feels like it's just too much particularly first thing in the morning you can hold it still and then just for good measure because I like to try and hit as many stretching points as we can as you breathe in same arm as leg take it up and then exhale, thread it underneath, perfect. Bring it back to the center, we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side, so leg stretches straight out behind you first of all. Really kick back into the heel, lengthen down the whole of the back of the leg. <clears throat> Slide it round to the opposite side, so stretching down through the outside of the waist, the outside of the hip. Obviously, we're taking this all quite quickly today. You can extend this movement out. Take your time over it. Take the leg out to the side again. Think about how that feels. And then if it feels okay, you can add that little rock backwards and forwards. Holding still at the top, breathing in, opening up into that twist. Exhale, threading underneath and then bringing the knee in we're going to take two more rounds of that spine or that cat cow movement inhale exhale and out and then we're going to slowly push ourselves back to find a comfortable seat so again you can kneel you can lay yourself down you can come to wherever you started if you're working on the edge of the bed hands down either to either side or just resting lightly on your knees imagine your spine is nice and spacious the crown of the head reaching right the way towards the ceiling close the eyes if it feels good or just softly focus somewhere in front of you take a nice big deep breath in and then as you exhale relax the shoulders soften through the jaw and again deep breath in deep breath out Notice how you feel right now. For just a little bit less than 10 minutes of movement, we have moved and mobilized the spine, stretched through the sides of the waist, twisted through the shoulders and stretched out through the hips, all in less than 10 minutes. And each one of those movements has the opportunity to work its way into your life. So if you're sat waiting for the kettle to boil or you're stood, waiting for the kids to come out of school even. What stretches can you work in? How can you keep your body feeling as good as possible as often as possible? We're gonna take two more breaths here. And then when you're ready, you're gonna let that inhale float the arms all the way up above the head. Maybe interlace the fingers, push the palms up, have that wiggle into the sides of the waist, into the sides of the shoulders, drop the hand back down. And we are all done. 10 minutes. 
It's that simple. It doesn't need to be complicated. Thank you for joining me, though.